Thanks for tuning in again today, guys. I'm Rich LeBay, I'm your host, and today we are going to be trying a delicious hefty burrito from El Diablo. Diablo, I believe, is a local chain. Only about four or five of these places around Delaware. Five locations. And we got this burrito today from Trolley Square in Wilmington, Delaware. Now, this is one hefty burrito. I'm probably only going to eat half, and I'll keep the other half for later. This is a create your own burrito with grilled chicken, brown rice, looks like um, mushrooms, black olives, black beans. No olives. No olives? What is this, black beans? Yeah. There's mushrooms, though? Yeah, there's special mushrooms. Cilantro, looks like avocado or guacamole. Pickled red onion, this is where it really jumps off. I'm actually gonna go against the doctor's orders and unravel this guy. And just get started here. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I love and the tortilla has a little bit of chewiness. It's almost like, like white bread, that gumminess, that glutinous. Mm. Yellow corn in this, beautiful. Oh, you can really taste the pickled red onions. It gives it that acidity, that bite. There's something spicy in here. Spicy pico. Spicy pico and chipotle ranch. So it's got a little bit of a kick to it. I would say on a scale of one to 10, this is about a three in terms of spiciness, which is enjoyable because you don't want to be reaching for something. And on this program right now, I don't really have a drink. You gotta have a little bit of a technique or, you know, a style when you eat a burrito like this because you don't want it to fall apart. Mmm. 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 Oh my goodness. El Diablo, you guys are doing fantastic work. This is beautiful. You guys are really the true essential workers. <laughs> this quarantine. Mmm. 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 Wow. Wow. What can I say? How can I compare this to you guys? If you're not local, this reminds me of the format of, would you say this reminds you of the format of like a Chipotle, where you kind of pick your own protein, pick your toppings? Chipotle, Mo's, Cadova, all that kind of like line work, create your own vibe. So this to me, El Diablo has superior toppings and a wide variety of toppings. To me, Chipotle doesn't have enough toppings. Like El Diablo, you guys got a few things very, very right here. I love the seasoning on the chicken. It's not so seasoned, like blackened or anything like that, where it actually overcrowds and overshines some of the rest of the ingredients. I definitely taste the hint of warming spices. Like, I don't know what I'm really tasting. It could be cinnamon, nutmeg, something like that. Something warm is in there, which is pleasant. And it stands up against some of the brighter flavors, like the pickled red onion, which has that vinegary sort of, um, brightness, the cilantro is bright, the ranch has some brightness to it too, so there's definitely a lot of beautiful flavors going on here. Mm. They're all polite, wearing masks. It's very well organized and clean. That's awesome, because a lot of times to get a great burrito like this, you have to go into some sort of like mom and pop shop where, I don't know, might not be the most organized or clean sort of place. But that wasn't the circumstance here. Brittany went in, so it was super organized. They're all super friendly and um, super talented as well. Looks like shreddus is in here. You guys know I love to say shreddus. Some sort of shredded lettuce, I would guess romaine. And the mushrooms add a nice earthiness to kind of round out the whole umami sort of flavor, if I can say that. I know, I know it's kind of corny to say umami, but it definitely mushrooms lend itself well. The actual wrap is great, like the the, uh, the actual tuck and roll of it all, because a lot of times you get a burrito with this much girth and it just falls apart. Some things I think they can improve upon. You guys ever had a grilled stuff burrito from Taco Bell? I hate to bring up Taco Bell in this circumstance, but they actually press it on a panini press, and I think that kind of helps the tortilla kind of stay together. It also adds another layer of uh, texture to the whole thing, a little bit of crunch on the tops while it's still kind of chewy and soft on the sides, I would um, appreciate that in this context. Scale of one to 10, I don't know. It's definitely good, borderline great. Um, scale of one to 10. Thinking you guys are in the nine category. So if you're ever on Interstate 95 in the United States and you're traveling up the um, East Coast Corridor, make a stop in Wilmington, Delaware. Uh, there's only about four or five exits in Delaware, so you can easily pass it by accident. Make a point of stopping here. There's a lot of great restaurants, Trolley Square, 
a super cool, nice little community of different shops and things like that that you can uh, take a look at. Definitely stop at El Diablo for a fantastic burrito. Uh, maybe next time we'll try like a beef or some other protein. They have tofu, meat-free options. It's not just burritos. They have chips, salsa, queso, quesadillas, salads, rice bowls. Um, yeah. So good. Mm. If you guys like this video, make sure that you please like, comment, subscribe, tell us how you feel. Ring the bell if you wanna get notifications when we put out a new video so that way you can keep up with us. Um, I plan on putting out a, a few more food reviews. This has been Rich LeVay. Thank you for watching another episode of Fresh Food Reviews. Stay cool, stay blessed, and thanks for watching Fresh. Peace. Dinner.